So here's my lovely wing stuck together. See there, and now one thing I didn't do on the video yesterday was show what I did in terms of forming the dihedral. So literally it was a question of cutting through the slot that's already there, through the lower veneer, through the trailing edge, through the leading edge, and then holding the wing over the edge of my table using my sanding bar, sanding it by eye just to get the dihedral and sticking them together as you saw last night. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cut the slot for the <clears throat> dihedral brace <clears throat> and I'm using highly illegal to carry around in public but a kitchen knife. Uh, I could do with a bit of a sharpen on that. Uh, my oil stone. Just That's better. Right, and that's the position of it behind the leading edge. <clears throat> Comes through the other side. No problem. <clears throat> so let's just continue that cut along. It's better. 100 millimeters, I think. Just cut that the other way. There, and just to open it up, use my hacksaw blade. Jobs are good and I may need to open that up a bit more <clears throat> because it's not thickness that is. Uh, I thought it was one and a half, but it's not, it's probably about two mil. Heathen, I hear you say. At the end of the day, needs must. What the hell? It's going to be stuck in with some Gorilla Glue Brown. <coughs> Let's just have a look on the reverse side. which I can't find. Oh, there it is over there. <clears throat> Let's just cut away a bit of the veneer. And the balsa. do this before you join the wing where it's flat or like I've done afterwards. There we go, should fit in there now. Or you could do it while the wings are still unjoined.
the end of the day that dihedral brace is going to be cut back to size now so it's going to stick in the wing like so you see it there and it's going to be trimmed to size I suppose what you could do and what I may well do because the top size is going to be difficult to, to trim to size because obviously the dihedral in place what I might do is just mark on there and then cut that off uh, separately or not bother so having done it that way oh now I really wanted my other scalpel but this one will do cut the main dihedral brace here the disadvantage with doing this after I've stuck the wings together is I've obviously got to go through my Gorilla Glue but it's not a problem there's nothing nice about this it's dirty so in with the blade there roughly vertical push it down and that's now protruding through the veneer underneath at least it shows how tough the old um, gorilla glue is the knife, back to the blade, and open it up. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to first get my other scalpel, which is sharper. <coughs> there it is. And I'm just going to cut. The veneer to make it easier. Bearing in mind I was struggling a bit with that on the leading edge. Veneer. And again push it through with the veneer, uh, with the bipedal brace. Forms my slot for me. Push it back through from here. And that should now plonk. Straighten there like that. Yep. There we go. And that comes through like so. There we go. Excellent. I measured it and from the trailing edge to there's 160 millimeters measured off the drawing. That's absolutely fine. Good. So there you are guys. That's how you do the dihedral braces. I'll do the other one and come back to you later. Well, I just thought I'd show as well gluing while I'm using my um, Gorilla Glue. So what I'm doing is I'm just Firstly, squeezing some Gorilla Glue into the slots. I then put a smear, and it only wants to be a thin smear, onto the actual dihedral brace itself. So, and then push that through into a slot and using a bit of scrap push it down 
That's good. Let's do this end as well. Again, using the same technique. A little bit on there. God, it's so nice the weather is warmer because the glue just comes out of the bottle so much easier. And when I mean a small smear of glue, that's what I'm talking about. There we go. And the last one is the leading edge one. And the reason I smear the glue out and put it on thin because if you don't it'll just collect on the edge as you push it through and it won't go down into the slot There we go. Put them that way round and let them dry.